Hi, my name is Eric Hanke, and I am Senior Principal Engineer of Memory and Storage Products at Intelloprop. My recent focus, and what I'll be showing you today, is fabric-attached memory and coherent host connections. Uh, today, specifically, I'll be giving you an overview demo of our CXL fabric adapter, fabric-attached memory, and fabric manager software. Uh, before I get into the demo, I want to give you a quick overview of the demo building blocks. Uh, and then I'll show a live demo of a uh, dynamic uh, fabric uh, management software running. So uh, these are prototype hardware that's being used to configure the fabric. Um, we have the Sphinx CXL fabric adapter, uh, the Intelprop uh, discrete switch, codenamed Hermes, an ARM host node uh, named Orthos, fabric attached memory resources, switch boxes, and media boxes. Uh, today's demo will be on a much smaller fabric topology than what is being shown here, but this is an example of a supported topology which has multiple CXL host nodes, ARM-based fabric manager, an ARM SOC node, multiple levels of switching, and fabric attached memory devices. One of the nice features of this fabric topology is the ability to support multiple routes through the fabric. Uh, this fabric topology is a 3x3 three three HyperX and um, if you look on the left hand side, you can see multiple links originating from each of the nodes uh, into the switches and media boxes and even all the way through uh, to the ZMMs. Oh, so um, uh, if a cable is unplugged, uh, alternative routes can be taken uh, through the fabric so uh, your system does not crash. The topology is flexibly configured either statically or dynamically by the Zephyr Fabric Manager using in-band configuration packet, packets originating from the Sphinx CXL Fabric Adapter. At the start of the day, uh, the Fabric Manager crawls out across the fabric to discover fabric attached components and build the native model of the fabric topology. This fabric topology can then be graphed using a, a tool called NetworkX which is what we used to draw this fabric graph on the left-hand side. Uh, next, I will share a VNC screen and walk through a dynamic configuration of small fabric. Uh, and I'll show you uh, how we allocate a portion of the fabric attached memory uh, as a block device and present it uh, to the CXL host. So um, now you can see my screen and uh, my, my VNC. Uh, on the upper left hand corner, you can see a uh, in the left middle, you can see two um, logins to a debug shell of the fabric attached uh, memory devices. Lower left hand corner, you can see the SOL console uh, running on the CXL host. Uh, CXL host is running Ubuntu 2004 and a custom 513 kernel. Then we have these three other uh, terminals here that I'm going to run some tools on. So the first thing that I'm going to do is launch our Zephyr um, Fabric Manager. And here I'm going to run the Linux local management services. And now on this bottom terminal, I'm going to run a tool called LSGenZ. And here you can see uh, three components that make up this fabric. One is a bridge and two are memory components. Uh, this middle memory component um, is configured not only as a memory device, but also as a switch. Um, so I can draw the topology uh, using that network X tool. Uh, and you can see a very simple topology where I have the yellow PFM or primary fabric manager connected to ZMM0, which is then connected to ZMM1. And the green line represents that we have a up link uh, in between all the components. So this ZMM0 is acting not only as a memory device, but also as a uh, switch device. So if we have traffic uh, running from the PFM to ZMM1, it'll take the path through uh, ZMM0. Um, I'm going to run a tool now called LS Topo, and you can see uh, we don't have any of the uh, ZMM resources configured or connected uh, to this CXL host just yet. To do so, I'm going to run a tool called Post Zephyr, uh, and I'm going to 
uh, give a 32 gigabyte block device um, to this host. Okay. And you can see this is the config file that was posted to the Zephyr Fabric Manager. The Zephyr Fabric Manager then uh, pushed this configuration into uh, the tables uh, and um, uh, configuration of its host. I can run LS Topo again. And you can see we now have a 32 gigabyte uh, block device that is presented. Uh, I can also run LS Block. You can now see this 32 gig uh, device show up. So I can go and then do um, uh, any sort of block type thing now. Um, so I'm going to run a little benchmark uh, doing just some random uh, 4K reads on that uh, block device. Uh, you can see it's now running, uh, just running a little bit of a benchmark um, using the CXL.mem interface to send the traffic uh, through the Fabric adapter uh, down uh, to the Fabric resource. So that was the uh, quick demo of the uh, fabric topology running the Zephyr Fabric Manager to in-band configure uh, this small fabric. Um, so please uh, come by and check out the, the larger demo that we have running at SC21 and uh, check out the CXL booth and the Intelprop booth, which is uh, just uh, one, one or two doors down. Thank you very much and have a great day.